now you've got something to scream about, you vomitous minge bag! Oh, Evelyn would laugh if she saw me now! Stop it! Stop it! We don't care what she thinks, Saul! What's going on everybody? This is DK Dynamite and today what I have for you guys is a very exciting unboxing here of the Mystery Box Edition for Black Ops 4. So a couple of years ago I had a blast doing the unboxing for Black Ops 3 with the Juggernaut Edition and I of course agree with everybody out there who says the Juggernaut Edition is one of a kind, is in no way inferior to the Mystery Box Edition. I'm going to go ahead and point that out right now but I still do think the Mystery Box Edition does feature some pretty fascinating content for a lot of those hardcore zombie fans out there. So let's dive right into this unboxing, as you can see on the back, with every detail of what's included in the edition. I think it's a pretty fair amount of content. You get a good amount of COD points, the steel bookcase, the puzzle, the Black Ops Pass, the first issue of the new Zombies comic series, the three lithographs, the patches, some fig pins pretty cool content on top of the actual box itself. So taking a look here at the beautiful artwork on the box here of Scarlet, Diego, the new zombie enemy or the antagonist there on the side. Not sure who that is to be honest with you, but hopefully we find out over the course of the next couple of Chaos maps. And I personally haven't even played much of the Chaos maps yet. I've been very invested in the Ether maps, Blood of the Dead and Classified as of right now. But for the sake of this video, I did unpackage the boxes a little bit to make the unboxing process a lot easier for this recording. So you guys might notice the tape is removed, some plastic is off a little bit, so keep that in mind. Now as we get into the box here, the first thing we can notice are the lithographs here, one being for Voyage, one for Nine, and one for Blood of the Dead. I was hoping for a classified lithograph, but that didn't end up coming out. But as you can notice, the Voyage of Despair lithograph here is exactly the same as the poster the GameStop was giving out as a pre-order bonus just a while ago. But the difference between a lithograph and the poster is of course the texture and the way you can feel the actual artwork when you pick up a lithograph like this. You could of course see the edge design on the back, the imprints, and you could feel the big difference here amongst this and a poster which is really cool so again the beautiful artwork for nine which is also featured on avenged sevenfold's new song known as the mad hatter i think it was a phenomenal song fit very well with nine i also think it's hilarious that a lot of us out there were theorizing that the song that avenged sevenfold was coming out with was going to be for classified but it ended up fitting very well with nine and here we're taking a look at the beautiful artwork of blood of the dead we of course have have seen this artwork many months ago, but I think it is cool to have them in lithograph form so you can choose to frame them or whatever it is you might want. Now, next up, we're going to be pulling out the thousand piece zombies puzzle. So, the wonderful artwork on this is just perfect to celebrate 10 years of Call of Duty Zombies. And that's 10 years of Treyarch Zombies to be exact. This doesn't include IW, AW, World War II. This is specifically Treyarch Zombies. I might even do a fun video. Not sure if it will do very well on my channel, but I might do a fun video of maybe my girlfriend and I putting this puzzle together and having like uh, a time lapse of getting this puzzle done. It is a thousand pieces. It's not very easy. So hopefully we get that done pretty soon. But let's get into the juicy stuff here. We now have have the mystery box which is derived straight from the chaos storyline so i do understand people's arguments when they say why didn't they go with the mystery box from shadows of evil mob of the dead even origins a mystery box that we're all attached to and care about why would they go with the mystery box that's derived from a storyline that not a lot of people are invested in because we haven't played the maps yet and you know what i do think this will pay off i do think by the end of black ops 4's dlc season we'll all be extremely invested in both the ether and chaos storylines to the point where we do appreciate this mystery box edition a lot more but as we open it up here for the first time we of course 
course, could notice the specialist patches, which aren't very useful, but is a cool feature here with this edition. They are pretty detailed and, of course, describe the various specialists we have in Black Ops 4 multiplayer. We next up have the <laughs> infamous Pop Socket, which a lot of people were also talking shit about when this edition first got announced. People were saying, you know what? There are plenty of other cool ideas and concepts and items that you can include in this edition. Why would you throw in something as stupid and cheap as a Pop Socket? But you know what? <laughs> I don't think Treyarch is in charge of a lot of this marketing, a lot of these decisions when it comes to these limited editions, but we'll move on from that. We also have the first issue here of the Dark Horse comic for Call of Duty Zombies, the beginning of the Chaos comic books. We, of course, had a couple of issues last year for the Ether. Hopefully, they do more of those in the future, but as of right now, we are moving on to the Chaos storyline when it comes to the Call of Duty Zombies comics. And we, of course, have the Fig Pins for our new Chaos characters. Pretty cool to have. Once again, not too useful, but is a nice plus when you do open up this mystery box edition. There is some pretty valuable content in here. I can't say everything is extremely valuable and worth your $200, but there are some cool things to have if you are, like I said, a hardcore zombies fan. So we also have the Steelbook case, of course, for the game. Not too much on it here, just a nice piece of artwork with our specialist. And then on the back, we have our new villain from the Chaos Store line as well and I think that is a pretty cool piece of art on the steelbook case I think they did a good job with black ops 3 as well so I am impressed that they went with a similar steelbook for black ops 4 but the box itself could fit quite a bit to be honest with you you could put your phone your wallet your keys some money whatever it is you want to stash away you could fit quite a bit in this box I do believe a controller does fit. I'll try to demonstrate that on screen if I remember to do so later on after recording this commentary, but you could fit quite a bit. A lot of people were saying, oh, well, the Juggernaut mini fridge actually had some use. You can put your drinks in it and you actually use it a lot more often. This is just the box, but you know what? What else could we expect? The, the funny thing is, how could they top a mini fridge? I, I can't even think of anything that could really top it, but luckily the Mystery Box Edition did supply us with the three batteries needed to actually power the sounds and lights on the box itself, which of course, very generous of whoever came up with this edition. I do think Blundell was behind this Mystery Box. He was on board with doing this, but he might have had a different approach which of course couldn't come to light due to once again those legal reasons other people being in charge of this kind of shit but i'm gonna have some use for it other people might not i do agree the mystery box isn't as useful as a mini fridge but i still could put some things in here it'll look nice in my new setup since i did move into a new apartment recently which allows me to make a lot more videos really happy about that but let's take a listen here as to how this mystery box sounds when you actually lift the top here we go So I have to admit, it does depend on the surface that you actually place this mystery box on that actually determines how loud the sound effects are going to be. If you put it on a bed, it's going to be kind of faint, but if you put it on this box as I did, it's pretty damn loud, I can't lie. So make sure that if you're going to open this up at night to get something and everybody else is sleeping, make sure that uh, they don't get pissed off by this loud ass sound effect because you could wake some people up when you do open the box up but you could of course turn off the sound effects and the lights at the bottom of the box here but the lights are beautiful i think it's very well designed well crafted and here's a nice overview of everything that's featured here in the mystery box edition for black ops 4 some pretty good content a lot of useful stuff there obviously are more useful items in this edition versus others i probably won't ever touch the specialist patches or the fig pins probably not even the pop socket but i'm of course gonna do the puzzle i of course love the lithographs i'll probably get some custom frames for them and i of course have some good use for the box as well but that's about it for this unboxing of the mystery box edition try to keep it as short as i could i'm also going to be comparing it to the juggernaut mini fridge here on screen so you can see the size difference the box is pretty damn big i kind of underestimated how big this is going to be but 
Once again, for me, since I just moved into a new apartment, I could definitely put a lot of things in there for storage, things that I do use on a day-to-day -day basis. But really hope you found this helpful if you are considering getting the Mystery Box Edition. From what I understand, it wasn't sold out nearly as bad as the Juggernaut Edition was a couple of years ago. I do remember when they announced the Juggernaut Mini Fridge, it was sold out within minutes. I'm talking maybe six to nine minutes max, and it was gone from everywhere you can think of. And I got lucky with actually winning a bid for one for around three hundred dollars i believe on ebay quite a while ago right before the launch of black ops 3 but luckily this time i was able to pre-order and fully pay off the mystery box edition of black ops 4 right when it was announced and i just walked right into gamestop when the game launched and i just picked it up it was that easy so thank you so much for watching this is manike dynamite be on the lookout for plenty of black ops 4 tutorials latest news epic gameplay and some live coverage of the specialist stories campaign within the game as well and Peace out, everybody.